Hello everybody, Eugene speaking and uh, today we'll make an add-on to my previous video because I found some mistakes and also had some comments from my colleagues and here are the changes. Uh, the first one which we had, uh, some people said that there is additional aspect which has to be taken into account which is the active participation. That is why I added an additional attribute to your participation with the following levels, active participation expected active participation on demand and passive listening expected because it can have impact on how the meeting will be held. The second mistake which I made is I assume that people can select between different types of meetings but actually they cannot because if you have to decide between an operational and strategic meeting probably you will have to attend both. And in this case asking the question which of them would you like to have is the wrong one because you will have to have both of them. I had to change the dependent variable and I decided to ask about the format, would you like to have it online or would you like to have it offline? And now to see what is going to happen, I'm going to again do the same I have done. I also would like to make this change here. You see the Jure fix and I think it is better if we write it consistently. I will just edit the item. Will it work? I don't know why. Okay, I have to click it one more time then edit. So now I have it. I would like to write a Jure fix meeting. The reason for this is pretty simple. The first one, the capitalization in the second part of the word, and second, I would like all the items be more or less the same length, because uh, the program will automatically adjust the rows uh, widths, and we don't want to have that there. Some rows are much broader than the others. Okay, so if I'm done, I can again export to PHP. And the next one will be, let's call it meeting three, meeting three PHP. Okay, so I just save it. And we need also the Qualtrics templates. And I thought that it might be a good option if my colleagues, there are not so many, if they make more decisions than I initially proposed. I wanted to have 10 decisions here, but I think they will be also good with 14 decisions. So I save the settings. Now I go to export Qualtrics file and I call it meetings three. We are like more or less of the same format. And I save them. They have been saved. And now I can go back to Qualtrics. I have already added information here. Uh, I have the text, dear team members in the following study small. I would kindly ask you to indicate your preference preferences with regard to different meeting formats. You will have to make, now we know they make how many decisions I wanted them to make, just a second. So the meetings I propose them to make 14 decisions and I'd like you to make four, oh, sorry, 14 decisions each time comparing two meeting formats. Please indicate which of those you would like to have in the online format and the other will then be held, will be then held offline. The participation will take about 10 minutes of your time. I think it's pretty simple and it's easy to do. That's why not more than 10 minutes. Please indicate how you would like the meeting format to be and not how it is at the moment or uh, not how the others would like the meeting format to be. Thank you for your time and Let's write here faithfully Lee and my name. Okay, so now we have it. And here we have to import the next questions. We have the new ones. That is why I will open the file here, meetings three task one. I will open it using notepad plus plus. copy everything, paste it here, I go to rich content editor, go to source and I substitute the text by my text. Now it looks like this, but I'm not satisfied as I told you, the this width of the rows will be adapted automatically. So if one of the field is short, then the whole row will be short. And I don't want it to be, that is why I'm going to do the following, I'm going back to rich content editor 
and I go to source and here look what you can write. Um, we have here the option F111 and 121. Actually, we need to do it only for one. You write here width is 200 pixels. And we do the same for the second row. Width is 200 pixels. Then it should be more or less the same. And now I'm going to change also the text here. Question, please carefully review the options detailed below. The not the options, the meeting formats detail below. Then please answer the question which of these meetings do you prefer to have online? The other will then be held offline. And here is, I call it not the choice, but a meeting one. And here I call it meeting two. So now we have to change one more thing, which is here, the meeting one, meeting two. These are the choices. Meeting one and meeting two. And let's see whether we succeeded. Ah, okay, I see why we didn't, because it will still relate to the old file, but let's make a preview to see why. You see now my brand new text, which I wrote here. Try to be pretty precise. People don't like to read a lot of information at the beginning of the test. Then you go to the first option and now you see they're all the same. At least we have here one more line, which is not present. Why? Because it doesn't know what to take. Because at the moment, if you go to my survey, it takes the value from the old file and we need a new file. That is why I'm uploading the new file. I use the hosting by zzz.com.ua. Uh, they have the free option. It used to work fine, but now if you have the free option, the, each time you call your website, the commercial appears and only then you are forwarded to your site and it doesn't work with Qualtrics. It tries to find information, but it receives information from, the, uh, uh, from this uh, commercial and it will not work. That's why I recommend you to either to buy the hosting there or to go to another for another free hosting. So I'm logging in. Um, I have a folder here which I made for the MCI from my university and I upload a new file and this new file will be then the the meetings meeting 3 PHP. I think this is the correct one. Did I make any other? Now this is the PHP file and I would like to have this meeting free PHP. So I open it, uh, click on upload. Now we check that the file works. <laughs> meeting 3.php. Now it seems to work and we have all the information. Ah, I think I forgot something, something important. Look what happened. It starts with the agenda available, yes or no. The reason is that when I went to settings, I forgot to uncheck this randomized order of attributes, which is not what we would like to have. I would like to have it not randomized. Okay, then I have to export it one more time to the PHP. And I save it again at meeting three. Yes, I'd like to substitute the file. And let's try to upload a new version of the file. It is the meeting 3 PHP. Opening the file, uploading it. And if I'm correct, then the new file will start automatically with the meeting format. Yeah, meeting type. And then we each time I renew it, it is now works correctly. Now I have to add this file. I copy this line here, go back to Quartrix, enter it here. The method is get. I click on test. Yes, it works, and I would like to import all items, embed all data. Click on embed all data. It will be 294 fields more because I have more levels and more attributes. I click on OK and apply, and theoretically this should start working now. Let's see, restart the survey. We should have one attribute more and the levels 
yeah, now it works. Your participation, active participation expected, active participation on demand. And now you can compare the two meetings and you can ask which of this meeting will be held online. Uh, let's make it maybe a little bit clearer for our participants. Meeting one online or meeting two online that people do not confuse what is online, what is offline. Uh, okay. And I think we are done. So now you can do the same for the other questions. Just import the other in my event uh, 13 question. I have 14 overall. And then I would also like to add here something. I plan to send this questionnaire to three departments to make a comparison between departments. That is why I add a new question, which is multiple choice. And ask okay, which departments do you work at? And I plan to send it to three departments. I have to talk to them, but hopefully it will work. It is the business administration online. Then I would like to go to marketing department because they are very supportive. And I'm pretty sure that if I ask them to answer my question, they will do. Department. Let's make it department. And we can take also the infrastructure will not work. Why isn't it working? Marketing department. I don't know why the blank didn't work. So now it seems to work. And the next one, I would say the IT services. They're usually not so supportive, but they like participation in something I send them because they see also the use from the study and we can tell them later how they would like to have their meetings so we can make a comparison. Uh, in this event I'd like to make this question also obligatory so I add a requirement which is forced response. Fine. By the first question I do the same. It is already set to uh, forced response. And at the end I can add some demographics but I don't think I will need them here. What is agenda? Maybe I will just add some information to have some demographics reported in my final report which i will use for our short meeting where i will introduce this nice interesting method of discrete choice experiments i hope it was helpful enjoy and please use it as an add-on to my previous video and in the next video you can find also how to analyze the data look at my channel thank you and good luck